All right, good morning to you, Taylor. Well, the SAT is a globally recognized college admission test, but this year some schools aren't requiring them for admission because of COVID-19. But if you are taking the test, there are some ways that we can help you prepare. Let's get straight to 7 News' Christine Scarpelli. She is live at the Sylvan Learning Center with more. Good morning, Christine. You got it, guys. Absolutely. You may not need them to get into the school of your choice, but there are so many pluses to taking them. I had no idea this morning. I was sweating just looking at a calculator that had more than like six buttons because I remember the stress and how scary it was. Why do you take these tests? Tell me first about scholarships. Um, absolutely. Scholarships require the test scores. To get that the money? That didn't change. Absolutely. The South Carolina scholarships did not change. Your institutional scholarships are not changing. Um, entry into scholars schools at USC, Clemson, those did not change. Wow. You need test scores for that. When's the best time to start taking these tests? Usually the spring of your junior year as you're finishing up Algebra 2 and your junior English classes. You've got enough content to start taking the tests and you should take, a, take both the SAT and ACT the spring of your junior year decide which one is best for you. We can help you with that here at Sylvan. And then choose which one you're gonna prep for and start really taking those, you know, taking those prep classes and um, practicing those strategies. Um, taking the test will, may help, but what's really gonna help you is somebody who can help who can guide you through the strategy. Knowing the questions and how they're asked, eliminating a question right off the bat. Joanne, with just a few seconds left, give me five things you need morning of. Parents, listen up. A good breakfast? A good breakfast. Getting out the door on time. Making sure that you have your calculator and your pencils. Um, making sure you had a good night's rest the night before. Knowing where you're going and what time you need to be there so you arrive early and can catch your breath. And guys, listen to this. Electronics. So I'm old. I was not even thinking about electronics when I was taking these exams. But you can't have the smart watch. You can't have the cell phone to keep time. So you need a normal watch or you need some type of stopwatch or something that does not connect to the internet. I had no idea. Listen, they offer prep questions at Sylvan. They offer just tutoring and a lot of help, there's their website. We will have that at our website, WSBA.com. There is still so much more to come this morning. We will be with you again in just a couple minutes. But guys, mind blown. Take the exams this morning. We'll send it back to you. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much, Christine. We'll see you on the CW. Fred? Today is the day for children to spend with their favorite book. We'll talk about Read Across America Day next on Carolina Morning. The time right now, 6.54, a live look from Asheville at our camera at Biltmore Park.